want to talk about West Ham and where we're going to be heading in the immediate future. By the immediate future, I mean after the end of this season, start of next season. What our strategy should be. Now, I'm going to work on a few assumptions here. OK, the assumption is I think we might have between 80 and 100 million pounds to spend. I understand we could, we could probably hope that maybe Kratinsky coming in and boosting it. And maybe if he does boost it, he might boost it by a little bit. But I don't think he adds 200 million, for instance, to the um, to the to the transfer kitty. I don't think he's going to come and give us more money to spend than he actually invested in the club. So I think that's a safe assumption. I don't think we have no money to spend, but I think we've got to look at something like that. I was also want to put aside for one moment the old dithering Dave thing and that it takes long time to sign players. He's not going to be able to afford to. We're going to lose a lot of players. We're hemorrhaging players because of out of contract, loans going back, retiring, all that sort of thing. Players are going to go, which means players need to come in. And I want to talk about the strategy, how I would deal with it and what I would do in this. And no, it's not just all free transfers. Uh, far from it. Now, this is going to be a chat about players coming in because just over the last couple of days, there have been people get, get angry. I mean, the, one of the most angry comments I've ever seen on YouTube was yesterday. OK, so I'm just telling you now, early on, we're going to be I'm going to suggest that West Ham might sign some players. If it's going to trigger you, you go, go, just go, go now, go, turn around, go away, go and watch something else. All right. And, uh, and then the rest of us who are going to hopefully enjoy talking about this a little bit. Uh, we'll have a chat. Are you still here? Go on. Go on. Go. Thank you. That OK. It's, it's just us now. It's just us now. We can, we can crack on. In fact, I did want to say thank you to Raymond Greenfinger. I don't know if that's your real name, Raymond, but thank you very much for your lovely message this morning, my friend. It was very, very well timed. And I also, I'm going to speak about this more later on. I want to thank our channel sponsors, ETC Sports, have signed up for another year. My word. West Ham fans as well, by the way. Uh, season ticket holders, everything. They have really been supporting the channel for years now. So I'm really massively chuffed about that so uh, thank you from you know from all of us at Amazon chat massive thank you okay i'm seeing us linked with players daily you know because we're doing the, we're reporting on it on this channel every day however there have been there have been a couple which have really got me thinking and um the ones that have got me thinking have been okay i'm going to give you one name uh, to start with and it's alex scott not the lady not the one, not, not the pundit, the ex-England international. No, that would that would be bad because I think she's, I, I don't know, actually she looks pretty good. However old she is, she's looking pretty damn good, if you know what I mean. That being said, uh, she is probably too old to play professional football. And she is a lady, I think something would look slightly suspicious in the changing rooms. But good. It depends, it depends on your outlook on these things, of course. So we've been linked with this guy, Alex Scott. Now, Alex Scott plays for Bristol City, I got to get that right because if you live in Bristol, you don't you don't get that wrong. It is Bristol City. They do not like each other, Bristol City and Bristol Rovers. Just in case you didn't know. Now he's a very very good midfielder, and as I understand it, he has been linked to us. I think maybe ex-employee discussed this again. I've had a look at him, and he looks excellent. He's he's from Guernsey. Not that, that matters. They call him the the next Jack Grealish. Uh. He's a harder worker than Jack Grealish, but he plays with his socks rolled down, so why not make the comparison? It's an easy comparison to make. He's a really, really good player. And this is, rather than just concentrate on him, I look to him. Sometimes I look at players, you know, if you're a regular watcher of this channel, sometimes I look at players and think, Moyes just wouldn't have this guy. Um, the Flamengo striker, oh, Gabby Gola, whatever his name was, took one look at him, he's just not going to play. He wouldn't play for, for David Moyes. David Moyes wouldn't have him in the team. And whether you think it's it's good or bad at the moment, the current um, discussion is about Ben Rama and that, does David Moyes utilise Ben Rama in the correct way? And uh, you know, are we are we stif is David Moyes stifling Ben Rama? The truth of the matter is, can David Moyes get the best out of Ben Rama? We're not going to know until Ben Rama leaves and goes to another Premier League club. And if he goes to another Premier League club and starts scoring loads of goals, we'll think, hold on, he got this wrong. In the same way that David Moyes got Sebastian Haller wrong. I mean, he really, he really, he really did. But I think sometimes you just got to say, well, these players are not going to fit into David Moyes' system. I looked at this guy, Alex Scott, and I thought this guy will will fit, would be. And I looked at it and I thought, well, hold on a second. I think this has got to be the strategy going forward. I think looking at the 
I don't mean all of these guys. Before before somebody you know says I'm not just filling it with championship players. Here's what I would do. I would sign two or three big players, thirty million pound players, whatever the case may be, players that that David Moyes wants to sign, and these these guys that he feels can go straight into the first team. I'd also make a couple of free signings, and if he can feel that he, I, I think we're going in for Jesse Lingard again. Uh, there's there's no way to believe you can't believe that we would chase Jesse Lingard for eighteen months, and then when at the point that he became free, we wouldn't be interested. Make no mistake about it. There's a high likelihood Jesse Lingard rocks up at West Ham next season. So you you, you do that. You bring in, you get your your forty million pound striker, and uh, you get your centre back. You bring in Jesse Lingard. Okay, those are your big first team players. If there are other little freebies where you can maybe bulk the squad out a bit, I say little freebies, a Tarkowski or something along those lines. I say a Tarkowski. There's only one Tarkowski, as the song goes. Um, I wonder if that would be the song. Anyway, that's what you do. But the rest, the padding, the periphery, I think it's precisely players like Alex Scott who we should really be going for. Before I do go any further, I know it's like a rolling advert, this video, isn't it? Let me point you in a direction of Manscaped. This is the lawnmower. I don't know why I always feel the knees to turn it on. This is the weed whacker. That's for up your rooter and in your ears. I've got to be honest with you, there's no hairs growing in my ears, but the old hooter, this has proved very, very useful. This, um, what can I say? You can use, I didn't know this. You can actually use it in the wet. When I say in the wet, that's in the shower. I don't mean you walk along in the rain, sort of shaving your head. These things are really good. You get a discount code by buying any Manscaped products. And just as it, when you go onto the website, and it's, hammer, it's, it's, it's Hammers Chat, or one word, is your discount code. And the website is manscaped.com. And also, they do these wonderful, wonderful colognes. Odor, odor, it still smells from the last time I sprayed it when I opened the box. It's a lovely... Lovely bit of kit. And the lid, it's like got a wood effect on it. Very nice. Where is it? I don't want to... There you go. I sprayed me... I've got to be honest with you. I sprayed myself in the eye with it the other day. That wasn't particularly nice. Anyway, uh, if you buy the pack from Manscaped, use a discount code. They're actually giving away some freebies. You get a little wash bag and you get some Manscaped pants. Boxer shorts. They're not wide fronts. They're boxer shorts. Go and check it out. Um... Have the 20% on us. All the postage and packaging and shipping and all the rest of it is free. Probably won't ship it. They'll probably give, stick it in a van and drive it to your house. But there you go. Um, that's Manscaped. Anyway, let's get back on to the... Um, get back on to the, the, the way I would like to do it. Because what you've got is these players like Yarmolenko. Yarmolenko's off, all right? I, I noticed it was announced with some sort of relish yesterday that Masuaku was, was back. That... Ma Masuaku is not the long-term future of the club. He's reluctant to lose. Uh, he's, he's reluctant to use him. Um, some, some like Ryan Fredericks going. Let Ryan Fredericks go. Let his squad be taken. His place in the squad be taken by Harris and Ashby. And here's really the point. You, you make two or three stellar signings. They improve some positions on the first team. Those people that were in the first team then go down to the bench. Thus giving Moyes options he wants to use off the bench. You bring some youngsters in as well. And then you go and get people like this Alex Scott. There are other names there as well. We spoke about one yesterday. What was his name? Brennan Johnson, a Nottingham Forest winger. Quick as manscaped pants, this kid is. Go and get him. There are a number of these guys that are your championship players. And this sort of ticks a box for David Moyes. This is what David Moyes was talking about. This is exact. Oh, by the way, did you know today? I almost forgot to tell you. Today... It's National Play Tennis Day. Fine, fine. It's it's a bit cold for me, and I don't have a tennis racket. Um, that 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 would that would scum. Or a tennis court, which is quite scum. It's it's hard to just go and play a game of tennis without either a tennis court or a tennis racket or the net thing. I think it's just called a net. But more importantly, it's international. <clears throat> excuse me. Not even national. International dog. Biscuit Appreciation Day. Not even Dog Appreciation Day. You've got to... Who's got to appreciate the biscuit? Have I got to appreciate the biscuit? I, and then, I'm sure the dog... In fact, I'll tell you now. I've got two dogs. They appreciate the biscuits. They appreciate anything. Honestly, they, they really do. Give them a bit... Chopping up some carrots. Give them a bit of carrot. They appreciate that. They're just generally appreciative. 
is, have I got to eat the biscuit? This is what I want to know because I think if I eat the dog biscuit, I ain't appreciating it. I'm glad they do. Quite frankly, it smells rank. Unlike the Manscaped Cologne, may I say. Anyway. Um, so that's it. That's, that's what day it is today, by the way. Just thought I'd say that. So these, these other players, these young players, let's, let's integrate Jamal Baptiste. Let's bring him into it as well. Let's start bringing in these young players. Let's bring in Brennan Johnson. Let's bring in, uh, I was gonna, let's bring in, what's his name? Lewis Cook. Is that his, I think his name's Lewis Cook. I'm looking for him at the moment. He's disappeared. Someone's nicked him. Someone's obviously already signed him. Sorry, Keen Lewis Potter. Who's Lewis Cook? Someone else. These are young players that when David Moyes looks to his bench, he's going to think, OK, I want to use these guys. And, and as opposed to somebody like Fovan, you, you know, Marseille winger, good player, but it's the last thing we need to do. He's, these guys are at the end of their career. So this is the strategy going forward. I want, I want us to get a blend and I want us to get a squad of players. And when I say a squad, don't have to be a massive squad. Even if it's just a, 21 players... 20 players, maybe I'm being greedy, 18, 19 play, 18 players, and I don't mean four of them goalkeepers on the bench, 18, 19 players that David Moyes actually wants to use, his first teamers, but then actually when someone's a little bit tired, or someone's injured, or he needs to rest someone for the next game, somebody on the bench, a right winger on the bench he wants to use, a midfielder, on the, why am I hitting myself, I don't know, a midfielder on a bench that he wants to use. This is what I want to see us doing. This is what I want David Moyes to do. Um, I don't know whether it happened. This is a strategy that I would use. Experienced players, a couple of free transfers, and then your young players from the championship, two or three of those, a couple of, couple of academy graduates. Um, but I was, gonna say, I was trying to look at the word. It, it was graduates. Yeah, a couple of academy graduates who are in amongst the first team squad and do actually get used. That's what I think. Let me know what you think um, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow.